The sixth COVID wave is entering its 12th week and doctors warn it has not peaked. There are enough Queenslanders seriously ill with the virus to fill a mid-sized hospital. Collecting antivirals at the front gate. For COVID positive Gary Schweikert and his wife Sue, it's 2022 all over again. Sore throat, colds, cough, really lethargic. Uh, vomiting. Gary's window to the world, capturing neighbours lending a hand, delivering groceries, even keeping his garden tidy. They all offered help. We are all, as a community, living with COVID. And when it pops up, we all do our COVID things and help each other and get through it. The Schweikert's likely among thousands of new cases detected in the past three months. Hundreds of people now in hospital. 300 people is a very significant additional burden on a healthcare system that's stretched at baseline and unfortunately a proportion of those people uh, may not survive this infection. Cases spiking as two variants collide at Christmas, combined a sixth wave now in its 12th week. Some early reports of an increase in severity. Transmission exacerbated by festive catch-ups and vaccine complacency. Whether you're over 65 or you're immunocompromised or you've got chronic disease, those are the people that we want to see come in and get a dose. At this stage, it remains unlikely a mask mandate will be reintroduced. The Chief Health Officer urging everyone to continue practising good hygiene. Those who are unwell asked to stay at home. The ferocity with which it hit me and my wife um, it just goes to show that, you know, it's still there, it's still happening and uh, it's still pretty nasty. Matt Johnston for 10 News First.